Hello, in this video, I would like to show you how adjust IDC 1299 from Texas Instruments for your custom projects. So let's say it's short introduction about these types of uh, analog digital converter. So let me uh, in the first uh, share my screen. Uh, so here it's a manual about IDC 1299. It's going to be easy found in Google. It's a 24 bits analog digital converter, but it's not so uh, typical analog digital converter because it has uh, many different uh, uh, types of registers that allow you adjust uh, these types of uh, analog digital converter for your custom project. In the first, uh, 24 bits. It means that uh, it has a resolution to in power uh, 24. So. I use uh, 4.5 voltage in reference. It means that's 4.5 voltage equal to this value. If you would like to know, for example, how it will be one uh, some uh, micro volts, you can uh, easily calculate it and find a digital value for this case. And uh, the next one, it's uh, uh, let's see how it's operate. Uh, these types of analog uh, converter about uh, communication. It's has eight channels. And every time uh, this device can send you uh, eight uh, bytes. First bytes is uh, just only status bytes that provide you some information about uh, these types of device. You can find information what is its status in registers. It's usually I use uh, first three uh, bytes just only to confirm that I have a correct communication between my Pi EG device and Raspberry Pi. And uh, every channel, of course, has, uh, because we have a 24 bits resolution, every channel has three bytes. So, and we receive uh, eight channels and first uh, status bytes. Here, I would like uh, to show you how I operate in Python. So, for all channels, when we receive, you can see it here. So, we receive first bytes and the next one move on the left side, receive second byte open the left side and receive third byte. So after that, we calculate it, how we can see how it was implemented in Python. And finally, you already have um, a digital uh, format information about which uh, voltage you have or which AEG you have. The next one, it's also, that's you take in mind, that it also depends which types of uh, voltage, power supply voltage you use for your ADC1299. This can be bipolar or polar uh, power supply. It means that's just only positive voltage was used to power supply or positive and negative. In my case, I have used uh, positive and negative. For this reason, it's necessary in the first step uh, confirm that what voltage you receive with minus or with plus. You just only check your first bit. If it was there, it means that's uh, negative. With minus, if it was plus, it means that it was positive. And finally, you just only via the next uh, formula we calculate uh, digital format uh, to a voltage already. It's just only to move from microvolts uh, to volts, uh, multiply to my reference voltage. It's a digital format and divide it for two and power 24 and then just the accuracy. So from this moment, you already have opportunity to receive uh, your data, not digital format in micro worlds. So just uh, let me uh, come back uh, to uh, manual and uh, talk about the uh, registers. That's the most interesting what we have in NDC1299. So the first one, uh, resistor with address 00 and hex format, it's uh, control registers usually it's quite comfortable just only to adjustment process to confirm that you have a correct communication, that you established communication between you, device, microcontroller, or some other device with uh, ADC1299. You can receive information about which types of uh, ADC you use, some device identification, reserved, head reserved. So you can just read it and confirm that your communication uh, was successful. Uh, the next register is already much more complicated. That's uh, definitely it's necessary to read in detail about what is it, this, uh, which bytes you should write in these registers. So in the, yes, in 
just let me make a short introduction. I use it here by each device. It's a device that's allow you to convert to Raspberry Pi to bring a computer interface. You need just only connect as this type of shield directly to Raspberry Pi head from this moment already. Let's say it's uh, allowed you to convert Raspberry Pi to bring a computer interface. You can, and you can uh, measure EEG signals. And uh, the most benefits when you use uh, single board computers because you have uh, direct access to your registers. Uh, you can just only change your uh, Python ID and uh, see what was... And just to check uh, finally what how it works, uh, because if you work with a uh, microcontroller, you need to create hex file, you need to connect uh, some adapter to upload this hex file to microcontroller. It's uh, uh, take a lot of time. So and in, in my script, it's implemented uh, via the next line. So we just have a config. Config uh, here we have some information about which address in configs. Here is zero one in hex form. And we write here the next value, uh, 96. And uh, here it's what we need to know how, how it's working. So we, we can see exactly here information about which bits should be located in the register. So every register, it's just only one byte. This means that's eight bits, but almost every bit some responsible for some information. So here, for example, we start from this moment. If we, you write, 000 in the first three bits, it will be 16 samples. In my case, I have wrote, I'm oh, sorry, uh, I wrote an IT6, so it means that uh, 0, oh, 110, we can find it here, 110, so I operated this uh, 250 samples. If you would like increase value samples, you can write here one, for example, 0, 1 for 500, it will be here 1, uh, 0, 1, but also it's in the mind that's uh, the faster work device, the much more noisy data you receive finally. So, and uh, move forward, it's some, um, this one is reserved to edge, it means that's 1, uh, 0. Well, how we can see it was implemented here. Australia club output in my case is disabled because I have used internal and there's a channel internal and uh, the first it's reserved for one so it means that if you would like uh, to reconfigure your device you need to open a manual for IDC and see what you exactly would like to do and the same situation about the config uh, configuration file for the next one it's much more correlated with test format and finally uh, reg uh, config registers number three that's responsible for BS. It's uh, quite important already uh, configuration because you know it's what is the BS when we measure signals from EG. We have some electrodes here, some reference electrodes in here. In opposite here, we have already uh, BS electrode that's responsible to eliminate any electromagnetic noise from EG signals. It's uh, very important to ductile because you know it's around us already. We have many different types of devices, and all devices already produce some electromagnetic noise that's significantly. This has very big impact for our uh, EEG uh, data. So next one, uh, that's also I, I'm in, in this video. I miss the next uh, re uh, register configuration about uh, let, uh, as example about this one. Let off control registers. In my case, I just want to use zero zero custom and uh, all channels also. That's much much more interesting already for us. Every channel has already some configuration to, to adjust them. So first, uh, for example, here we can have uh, some normal uh, electric input, input shorted. If you would like just only measure internal noise for device, it can be quite useful if you would like to calculate some signal noise ratio, as example. Uh, also, you can create some test signals. It's a SRB connection. It's much more correlated to analog schematic. In this case, in my case, it's open. My device was implemented, but also analog schematics provided in the manual. You can see it, but I would like miss uh, these parts in this case, but generally it's zero. So, and uh, this one is also quite interesting. It's about amplifier. You know, so we have not just only analogous monitor, but also we have opportunity to amplify our signals and makes much more bigger, but of course, it's necessary to take in mind that you amplify not just on the EEG signals, you amplify also and all noise that's included in these uh, signals. So, and for, yes, it's for all channels, it's work like that. 
And probably, yes, if shortly I have finished it. If you have any question, please send me or just only comment under uh, this uh, video and I will have provide some additional information. Thank you so much.